this is African cocktail. We are going to run off uh, in London uh, because uh, Shiri Achu will be with us in just a couple of seconds. And the show is gradually coming to an end. Let's listen to this, then we'll be right back. And this is fresh from the editing suit. Her name is Gasha, and that one is titled I Notice. Gasha is an up and coming contemporary Cameroonian artist, and of course, she is uh, winning more and more admiration. So, such a voice. And oh, I know you smell on me like after I'm asleep. Smile, bring my face with all the sweet kisses, baby. I do. Oh, I do. I know this, you. Yeah. I know this. I know this. I know this, you, yeah, baby. I do. Oh, I do. I know this, you. Yeah. And so, in just a couple of hours, it will be the kickoff. I mean, official kickoff of Rhythm of Life. Rhythm of Life is uh, an art exhibition by our own very Shiri Acho, renowned Cameroonian artist and painter. She has moved from 35 in print to yet another exhibition, which she's going to tell us more about just now. Shiri Acho is on the line to London. You're welcome to the show, Shiri. Thank you very much. Hello, hello everybody. Thank you. Hmm. So, after 35 in print, you are back with uh, another exhibition dubbed Rhythm of Life. So, what is uh, Rhythm of Life all about? The Rhythm of Life is what we all go through um, in our various lives. Um, it's got sort of, the exhibition has three sort of sections um, to it. It is the walking with the rhythm of the life, um, which is the everyday mundane. It's the dancing um, to the rhythm of life, which is, you know, the more celebratory. And then there's a the leap when you're taking a faith and you're, and you're stepping up and, and, you know, doing, hopefully doing bigger things, which is a leap for the rhythm of life. And these three sections have, um, I'm using some of my, my, my previous pieces um, for the walk and the dance, but mm. the leap um, for the rhythm of life, I, am, I have done some new pieces of works mm. um, to, to showcase for this exhibition. Right. And I'm, I'm, I'm really apprehensive to know how people would see it, because um, it's quite different from what I normally do. Right. So, so why did you choose uh, this uh, collection of works this particular time of the year? Is there any uh, relation between uh, this time and the works you are going to display? Um, it actually has a per, um, the, the actual works uh, or the um, well, it's a two part. Um, it's how it came about was I was invited to showcase at this place, and I used it as a perfect opportunity to. Um, there is I'm going through a personal transition as well in my life, um, so it was a, it's perfect timing to be able to showcase these particular pieces as well as do the new ones. Um, for this particular period of my life as well. Hmm. So it's just been perfectly timed. Okay, uh, Shiri, uh, what makes this work special and why do you think people need to see, buy, and of course keep them? Um, well, my my work generally is um, is trying to um, express and, and promote and show how beautiful the Africa culture is. Um, so in that respect, I, I like people to, and also, I mean, for those for those who don't know the African culture, it's it's trying to educate them, um, for them to know more about the African culture. For those who know and are not in Africa, it's for it's for them to have the fun memories back, and um, and for others like the new the new the newer pieces that I'm doing is more modern. Um, so if you want something modern, these new pieces are about the. Um, they, they're using the Africa, African symbols um, mm. in a more abstract, um, more, more, more modern way. So it's, it's trying to educate 
um, through the, the various different um, symbols that we have in Africa, in the west of Africa, we have the Andigra, there's so many different symbols which, you know, before our time they were using to add to, 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 um, to, to, to communicate. Right. Um, I'm trying to use the symbols. As, you know, as we, as we know in our clubs, in African prints, there's various symbols that are very meaningful. We have the Togo, you know, the Ngong. There are various different symbols that mean so much. I'm trying to, in this selection of work that I've done, trying to educate people on those symbols. Um, so that's, you know, I think that's making, the, you know, this this particular um, um, exhibition um, and, and a series of works quite right. special. And, um, yes, well, hopefully people... Um, like them enough to, to obviously want to keep them and buy them and treasure them, yes. Right. So, uh, apparently, this exhibition will run for a whole month. Uh, uh, what are you going to have as activities? Um, they, thankfully, are an organization that, and they deal with a lot of everything that's going to happen. So, they send out a lot of invitations. They do a lot of things. I basically just go and present my work, and I have them... Um, um, take care of it for me, so to speak. So right. it's not like my 35 imprint where I had to do a lot of work and invite a lot of people myself. Hmm. This is taken care of for me, um, where they will send it out. And you know, they will, but tomorrow is the main opening. There's going to be um, music uh, as well as exhibition. There will be poetry, open mic section. So hmm. it's going to be very fun tomorrow. And on the 27th again, there's going to be a little something that I'm trying to do um, there. Um, so. Um, I don't. Nef I thankfully, I have to say that I didn't have to do so much in terms of in, in right. my involvement in the participation in the in the hmm. promotion has not been. You know, they they take care of it for me. So, who are you expecting to this uh, exhibition? I am expecting um, a lot of people. I'm granted. I have not actually had the time to send it out to all my normal sort of clientele. Um, but I'm still expecting a lot of people. No, hmm. um, it's mainly their people, to be very honest. Right. Mainly, I mean, I, I will send out some of my, to my, you know, clientele, but it's generally, it's, it will be artists, there will be writers, there will be, be art lovers, there will be, there will be, there'll be a, a hmm. bunch of very interesting, creative people. So, uh, Rhythm of Life opens tomorrow, Shiroi. Uh, how prepared are you and, and the team? Are you guys set? Um, I am, we are almost set. There's just a few little things that we have to do. Um, but yes, we're almost set. Um, some key things. Um, work is actually, the, the works have actually been uh, up. It's just a, apart from the few pieces that remain. Um, it's looking good. Um, yes, it should be, it should be really good. Mm. And I'm really excited that it's good there. It's, it's going to be there for the whole month. And um, up to the third of August, so people can go, you know, whenever. Right. However, the ones to see it, if they cannot make it tomorrow. Okay. Very Shiri, thank you, thank you so much for joining us to talk about this uh, great, great, great exhibition that will take place in London. Before you go away, could you just remind us yes. of uh, the date, the time, and uh, how people can get to you if they are interested to be part of uh, this uh, exhibition? Right. It's um. So the Rhythm of Life, it's going to be exhibited at the Windmill, which is 57 Cricklewood Broadway, and that's NW23JX. Um, and you can always reach me personally um, via Facebook, which is Shiri Achu Art, um, via Twitter, and um, by email, again, it's Shiri at Shiri Achu Art, um, dot com. So you can, if you want to have any questions or, you know, you want to, you can always email me or you can contact them directly at, at the windmill, um, 57 Cricklewood Broadway. And it's on to the 3rd of August, 2014. Okay, Shiri, thank you so much. We'll probably come back to you at the end of uh, Rhythm of Life to find out what would have transpired. Do have a fantastic okay. rest of the day out there. Wonderful. Thank mm. you so much. Okay, uh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much, Shiri. Her name is Shiri Achu. She is a renowned artist and painter who hails from Cameroon. She lives in London, and of course, she's been doing quite uh, some good works out there. Okay, and that's how we are running off the station of African Cocktail. Uh,